The Colorado Avalanche defeated the Tampa Bay Lightning on Sunday night to win their third Stanley Cup in franchise history. And what a playoffs it was for the Colorado Avalanche as they went 16-4. The last team to win the Stanley Cup with less than five losses was the 2012 Los Angeles Kings. And how'd Colorado win? Well, they skated, and they skated a lot. They stayed with what made them successful in the regular season. You'll see some teams in the playoffs get away from that. Colorado stayed with it. And that's why they had so few losses. You go back five years ago and the Colorado Avalanche finished a 48 point season and it would have been easy for ownership to get rid of everybody after that year. Colorado's ownership deserves a lot of props because they stayed with Joe Sackick as the GM and Jared Bednar as the head coach. And those two guys have now proven themselves at their respective positions. I think that's why Jared Bednar was so emotional at the Stanley Cup parade yesterday because he knew after the 16-17 season his coaching career could have been over. Instead he got an opportunity to continue with this team and he's really proven himself. And Joe Sackick has become one of, if not the best GM in the league. You look at the moves he's made over the last number of years, especially this past trade deadline bringing in Arturi Lekanen, Andrew Cogliano, and Josh Manson. Those were his most notable acquisitions, and they were big pieces for Colorado all throughout the playoffs. And you look at some of the other moves he's made, like trading for Nazem Kadri back in the summer of 2019. Colorado was really built on their depth this season, and in years past, they were looked at as a one-line team, but that was definitely not the case this year. And Kale McCarr had an outstanding playoffs for the Colorado Avalanche, putting up 29 points in 20 games, including 7 points in 6 Stanley Cup final games. But Colorado's top players at four didn't have to be really special for them in the finals because their depth really took over and I thought that was the difference in this series. And I picked Tampa Bay to win this series in six mainly because I thought Andre Vasilevsky was going to outperform Darcy Kemper. You could argue that Vasilevsky faced a much harder shot quality than Kemper did but Kemper was good when he had to be. And game six really comes to mind for me because Tampa Bay really didn't have a lot going on all game long, especially in the third period, but then he makes a big save on Kucherov to preserve the 2-1 lead. And a lot of people doubted him coming into this series, including myself, but good on Darcy Kemper for proving all the doubters wrong. Colorado showed that they can defend a lot better than people give them credit for as well. I knew Colorado was going to take the play to Tampa a lot, but I wasn't sure how they were going to withstand some pushes that Tampa was going to put on them. I thought maybe Tampa could exploit Colorado in their own end, but the Avalanche showed that they could handle the pushes that Tampa put on them. And they showed they could win tight, low-scoring games when they had to, and they showed that in Game 6 when it mattered most. So those are my thoughts on the Colorado Avalanche winning the Stanley Cup. Congratulations to them. Please let me know what you all think in the comment section below. Also, please like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.